Welcome to Jump Math Help. This is page 55, grade 5. We're continuing with subtraction today. So here we are in question 5. Subtract by regrouping the tens. The first one has been started for you. So in this case, there's not enough ones. I can't take 6 away from 3. And so I go 5 tens crossed off to give me 4. And adding 10 to the 3 makes it 13 ones. So 13 take away 6 is 7. 4 take away 2 in the tens column is 2 tens. And in the hundreds column, 6 take away 5 is 100. So 127. So let's take a look here. Can I take 9 away from 2? No. So I need to borrow. So this becomes 6 tens. And that 10 adds to the 2 ones to become 12 ones. Now I have enough. 12 take away 9 means I have 3 left over. 6 take away 3 is 3, and 5 take away 4 is 1. Again, if you're not sure what the answer is when you're taking away those simple subtractions, use your hand to count them off. So for question 6, there's going to be some double regrouping. So I'm going to do two of these with you. Let's look at A. So for A, can I take 3 away from 2? No. 2 is not big enough, so I'm going to change the 5 into a 4, which makes this 12. So 12 take away 3 happens to be 9. Now, can I take 6 away from 4? I can't, so again, I have to go over to the 7, make that a 6, and this becomes 14 tens and 600. Now I can do 14 take away 6, which is 8, and 6 take away 3, which is 3. I did that quite quick. Let's look at B together. Again, I check to see, can I take 5 away from 3? Nope, this isn't big enough, so I'm going to have to borrow. This becomes 13, and that becomes 110. 13 take away 5 is 8. My 1s are dealt with. Now I look at the 10s. Can I take 7 away from 1? Nope, so I look to the 8, and I take one of those, and this becomes 11 tens. Now I can take 7 away from 11, and it is 4. 7 take away 1 is 6 hundreds. I hope that helps you understand the process to work right to left and to borrow when necessary. So question 7 is now getting into the thousands, and sometimes we have to borrow from the thousands into the hundreds. And it works exactly the same way. So let's look at B together. So 5 take away 3, we can do that. Again, we start with our 1s. 8 take away 5, yes, that's okay. No borrowing needed. 2 take away 8, no, I don't have enough up here, so I need to look to the number beside it, which is the thousands. This becomes 3,000, and this now becomes 1,200. So 12 take away 8 is 4 in the hundreds, and 3 take away 1 is 2 in the thousands column. So it works the same way. Okay, I hope that helps with your subtraction in jump math.